off deck and we'd like to deploy the new storm net. the Newstone net which is um, a small surface net it's got a rectangular frame and the the top of it is just out of the water so it's really scraping along the surface maybe 20 centimeters of the water taking all the small jellies and zooplankton that are right up in those very top layers this one out so when we're doing the sampling any biological samples that we have we record in this book here so you can see there's loads of different um, fields that we need to fill in with different information and then we also have these unique ID yeah, tags so okay. these here so each sample will get assigned a, a separate unique ID and this will identify it in our database as to what deployment it went from, what gear it went from, um, a description of it. So this number is really key. All our biological samples will be given one of these unique ID numbers. If we want to understand anything from your data, you need to know when it was taken, when that sample was taken. So that could be what equipment you used, um, that could be at what time of day it was, could be at whereabouts on the ship you deployed the equipment. So it's really important to know all those different parameters so you can take those into consideration when you analyse your data. So these unique ID numbers allow us to track the flow of data from the moment that it was um, taken, so the moment the sample was taken, to the moment that we sit down and we actually start looking at the data and decide you know, what does this mean, what can we do with it. So that No, today didn't want to work, and we we broke a little bit the bottle, but we're gonna we're gonna repair it. We are in the nerve centre for the science team. So all of the data that we're um, collecting downstairs, so from the main deck with our equipment, processing in the labs, the dry lab, the wet lab, the chem lab, and we're then bringing all that data up here. Um, we're transferring it to our databases, we're filing it, we're organising it, we're processing the video data, and then logging that all for later analysis. So this is a really crucial part for the science team and a really crucial place in order to get the data that we're taking from the ocean and making it into something that we can use for science and, and share with people as well.
will be the first time that anyone has done this from the surface to 500 meters in the whole of the Indian Ocean. And it's important really threefold. Um, we need to get baseline data to understand how communities, environments and organisms change over time. Um, it will also be used directly in Seychelles to use for spatial planning. So this is going to enable the waters to be sustainably managed. And thirdly, scientists from across the globe will be able to use it as it will be inputted into open access databases such as OBIS.